channel. This is Gas Pump Rob out in Southern California. And Tom and I are at my property, which is an old filling station from the 1930s. I don't have a key today because my ranch hand took the key with him out of, out of town. So we're going to break into my own property right now. Hey, are you sure it's yours? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, you brought the universal key. Almost got it. Halfway. One more cut. One more right there. And get onto that side. This is a nice instructional video too for uh, looters and rioters, I guess. Huh? <laughs> All right. Wow. And I like how all the concerned citizens stop to ask what you're doing. <laughs> Gotta take some screws out. Oh, you really got this thing locked up. Yeah, I don't want anybody in here. So, okay. I hear the siren now. Yep, here they come. Wow, that's a good response. Porsche is cool. Watch out. Wow. 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 What brand was the Seaside? Does that say Seaside was, under there? It was Texaco Seaside. And then it ended up being Rocket when it closed down finally. It was Rocket. So how long have you owned this? I've owned this property maybe eight years. And I'd, I'd like to do a restoration on it someday. Mm -hmm. But right now I don't have the funds for that. So it's going to have to wait a little while. Yeah, sell, me, sell some more gas pumps to me. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> now, the, was the wall here? You didn't, you didn't the put wall, the wall up for anything, right? Here. Uh huh. Someday I'd like to take the wall down and put in like removable wrought iron fencing. Yeah. So if there's a car show event, we could remove the oh, fencing. Oh man. Look at these old windows. Wow. Wow, that is so neat that nobody has broken the glass. Yes. I had to replace a couple of pieces of glass. Mm-hmm. But overall it's not not in all that bad a condition. The no. roof's been replaced on both on both buildings. So oh, okay. that's protecting it from the rain. Did you do that? Yes. Now, what was it used after it was no longer a service station? It was used at the body shop for a while mm -hmm. and storage. Okay. And once again, uh, it was the, the brands were Seaside. What else? Texaco and Rocket. And Rocket. And Rocket was... was uh, Rocket was part of the uh, Richfield Oil Company oh. out here on the West Coast. Okay. This thing is really nice. I love this architecture. My dream is to put three gas pumps back here on the island. Mm -hmm. They're not going to be hooked up except for lights, right. but for display. And kind of do a semi-restoration on the building. That way it has patina. I want it to look old. I don't want it right. to look like a brand new building. Yeah. So that's the plan. That looks neat with the, with the paint peeling and everything. Now, those wooden logs that are sticking through, is that is that actual roof? Those logs were ornate logs. They would stick out about two feet. Oh. And it made it look western. Huh. I don't really like that look, so we're going to just stucco right over those. Okay. This is neat. Neat, neat. Do you have the, you have the key with you? I do. It's in my vehicle. Okay. I'll go walk around. Do you want to get the key and go inside, Rob? Sure. I'd love to.
and it's 108 degrees out here today. This is Rob's Cannonball, and we're going to go over to the truck here too in a minute. So this building, this building was made at the same time as that one? Yeah, correct. It was built the same time, uh -huh. and this is where they did the uh, vehicle repairs. I see. And I have a key. I can get you into that. Oh, yeah. Does it have a lift in it? Uh, no, it doesn't anymore. The lifts were removed. And it has outdoor plumbing? Yes. <laughs> Check out the swamp cooler. I'll have to flip that on on a day like today. Now, Rob, what was over here with all these metal coverings? It was a uh, frame straightening. Really? Yeah, these, there's anchors under these plates, and they would use chains and anchor like a chassis down to do frame straightening. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. You got lights and everything. Now, I haven't been in here probably in over a year. This is neat. You, you can smell the mustiness, which is just how you'd want it to smell. This is nice. Now, all my life, I've always wanted to own an old filling station, and then this came up, and my wife and I bought it. So, there was this a lift here at yes, one time? Yes, it was. Okay. In ground lift. Oh, okay. It might still work, who knows? Oh, you mean the piston's still in there probably? Yes. And what were these um, covers here for? I'm actually not sure. Might be some kind of drain or so. Yeah, Oil okay. Oh, right. that makes sense. I like these roll-up doors. And the Art Deco, how they rounded it in here too? Yes. Kind of Spanish deco design. Mm-hmm. Neat. Well, I could see just being in here working on an old car, just having that would fun. Be so much fun. Yes. Once it's all cleaned up, we'll do a real another video. Yeah. This is neat. Okay, let's go do the truck. I still got the camera running. we have here is a 1948 GMC cab over engine truck. It's got great patina. Yeah. Oh wow, look at the license plate too. Nice. And you bought this where, Rob? I bought this in Arizona. Uh-huh. So it's rust free. Man. Sorry about the cobwebs. Oh, that just adds to it. And it does run, right? Yes, it runs. So in upcoming videos, I'm going to have Rob do videos of the truck getting started. Here's the ID tag right here. I don't know if you can get that in the video. Wow. like how the parking brakes on this side. It runs, but it needs cooling system work mm -hmm. and it needs brake system work. Ah, oh, that's just like mine. I got, a vice, I got a vice grip to unroll the window <laughs> too on one side. That's great. You have to. So I guess I'm part of your club. That's right. Oh, definitely. This thing is... It's, it's a nice, nice solid body. No rust. Oh, sure. Look at this. Zero rust. That is amazing. Got the corners. Nothing's dented. That's the same GMC I got on the front of mine. Yes. Exact. The GMC on the sides, exact. Yeah. I like this, uh, the bed on this thing too. Kind of like diamond plate. Yeah. On it, a steel. And I like how the how these lights are recessed into it. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Uh huh. So you wouldn't break them off. It's amazing the the tires still have hold air. Yes. Wow. Oh, it's all wood bed. That is cool. 
I like that bed on this thing. I was thinking it'd be fun to load up a couple of gas pumps in the back of this uh -huh. against the back cab and do some parades mm -hmm. someday. Neat. All right, let's go inside the uh, filling station. <clears throat> Goober says, hey. This is neat. So there's a window in the back, okay. Yeah. And this was just shelves for, oh, the breakers are there. Breakers are there, breakers in here. Old school. Wow. Looks like it had meters on top too at one time. Yeah, there's a, a modern meter now on the back. Uh-huh. So they can read the meter without even being in here. And then there's a, there's a bathroom in there. Okay, neat. It's, uh, it's an old school gas station office. Uh, they don't build them like this anymore. No, and it's got the right feel. So the attendant, would he, would he have a desk or just? Um, he would have a counter and a desk in here. Okay, so would he sell stuff in here too? Yes, uh -huh. there would be products in here on shelves. And I intend to do that, mm -hmm. to have a display maybe with rocket oil and gas products, additives and oil additives. Old tire stands and stuff? Yes. yes. And I want to decorate the buildings with old tire signs. I've got uh, an old Coke machine that'll go out front. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, Rob, this is really neat. Now, what was this back here, that cabinet? I'm not sure. It's just a corner cabinet. I oh, think. okay. Oh, okay. Just storage. Yeah, just storage. Maybe his personal stuff would go in there. Yeah. Wow. This is neat. Oh, I like these uh, transom windows that open, too. Yes. Flip out. Nobody even knows it what those are anymore. It has a lot going for it. <laughs> yes, it does. It needs work, but it's not It's not going to be one of those endless projects. I think this could be fixed up within a matter of, you know, two months. Uh-huh. Yep. Well, there's not very many around, especially stucco ones, is there? Right. So it's all wood frame then? Yes. Mm -hmm. And when was this built? Uh, I'll have to look at county records, but I believe it was in the uh, 1930s sometime. Wow. Looks like the pumps were removed in 78. Very uh, busy corner lot. Uh -huh. A lot of uh, drive-by traffic here, which is kind of neat. Once it's done, a lot of people will be able to see it. It'd be great for car shows. It really would. Yes. So that was an outside door to the restroom. Correct. Okay. I like it. Very cool. All right. Once again, uh, go to Gas Pump Rob's channel. He's got such a uh, cool amount of stuff, and I'm. I'm trying to get him to start to video everything he's got because you'll really love the content that's going to be on there. So it's Gas Pump Rob on um, Facebook and you won't be disappointed. And favorite his, his videos and uh, subscribe to his channel if you like the stuff. There'll be more of it coming. Thank you very much. Thank you Rob for the tour. You bet.